Good morning, Core Math 2 students. This is your week three, lesson three. And today we're just gonna do a quick review on those trig ratios that you worked on yesterday. So on Delta Math today, there is a, a bit of a timer, timed type of game uh, where it just has you writing out the ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. So just to review what these ratios are, the sine ratio always puts the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle always puts the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent always puts the opposite over the adjacent. So on delta math today, oh, sorry guys, <laughs> on delta math today, uh, you won't have to do any reducing. You won't have to do any calculating. You just have to put one number over another and identify uh, the correct ratio. So here is just a random different oriented triangle. Uh, it's got angle A listed on it. We have some side lengths of 41, 62, and 75. So if we were writing out the sine ratio of angle A, we'd want to make sure we put the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So from angle A's perspective, the opposite side is across from it. It's the side that doesn't touch it. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. So here's the hypotenuse. And then lastly, the third and final side that we haven't named yet, that must be adjacent to angle A because it's touching angle A, but it's not the hypotenuse. So we have these all written out here, but if you like the SOCA-TOA to help remember what these uh, letters and, and ratios go with, sine puts the opposite over the hypotenuse. So 62 over the hypotenuse, 75. And the good news about the game today is that they don't even ask you to reduce. You can just leave your fraction just like that. Cosine of angle A. Well, cosine puts the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we've got our adjacent 41, the hypotenuse 75. And lastly, tangent of angle A. Well, tangent puts the opposite over the adjacent. So 62 over the 41. And those are the three trig ratios for angle A. But what happens if they suddenly switch and decide to work on the other angle? And they ask us to write out sine of angle B uh, and cosine of angle B and tangent of angle B. What happens then? Well, the names of the sides have to change because if we switch perspective and we're looking at angle B now, the side opposite from angle B is now the 41 side. The hypotenuse doesn't change. It's still across from the right angle, but now this 62 side is actually adjacent to angle B. So the names switch when we change angle perspective. So from the perspective of angle B, sine of B is opposite 41 over the hypotenuse 75. Cosine of angle B puts the adjacent 62 over the hypotenuse 75. And lastly, the tangent of angle B puts the opposite 41 over the adjacent 62. So in this one triangle, when we're looking at these acute angles, A and B, you might notice that the sine for angle A becomes the cosine for angle B. Because they switch perspective, the names switch. The cosine from angle A became sine of angle B. And lastly, the tangent ratios use the same two numbers, but they get flip-flopped upside down because opposite and adjacent switch when you switch perspectives of the angles. So just kind of keep an eye out for that, kind of see some of these connections, and keep working on SOCA-TOA. Head on over to Delta Math, try out that timed game. I think I only required maybe six or eight problems to be done correctly in, in 100 seconds. So see if you can beat that time. Have a great day.